using the Character Generator tutorial. In this lesson, you will explore the Random Player Generator in Dramatica Story Expert. You will learn how to generate new characters, as well as how to control their genders, names, pictures, and characteristic assignments. You will also learn how to revert your changes and print a character report. In Dramatica Story Expert, either create a new file, or continue with the Hansel and Gretel project modified in the Assigning Characteristics tutorial. Save regularly as you progress through this tutorial. Click on the brainstorming icon and then click on the Character Generator tab if it is not already selected. You may also use the Character Character Generator menu command. The Character Generator is a brainstorming tool that allows you to create random players for your project. For example, press the Generate button once. You'll notice that a random number of new players have been added, which may or may not have names and pictures assigned to them depending on the feature settings. Press the Revert button to undo the changes. Even though the information in the window has not been updated to reflect the reversion, the random players that had been generated have been removed. To check, click on the Players icon. You can see that the randomly created characters are no longer part of your players list. Let's return to the Character Generator window by clicking on the Brainstorming icon. For this lesson, we're going to focus on using the Character Generator to supplement the existing players we already have. Click on the Add New Characters pop-up. This feature controls how many new players will be generated and ranges from none to 14, with the option of having the number randomly chosen. The Hansel and Gretel project already has 5 players, so let's add 3 more by choosing 3. The next option is the Modify Existing Characters checkbox. If you started this lesson by creating a new file, make sure this option is checked. If you are following along with the Hansel and Gretel example project, make sure this option is unchecked because we do not want to modify any of the players we have spent time developing. Click on the Assign Characters Picture checkbox to make sure all new players are assigned random silhouettes from the casting window. You can always change them later, but having different character pictures makes players more readily identifiable in the players list. Click on the Gender pop-up menu. This option controls the gender distribution of the players affected by the Generate command. You can have them all be female, mostly female, evenly balanced, mostly male, all male, or randomly distributed. Set this option to Random. The Character Generator has an option to assign random names to your players. Check the Assign Character Names checkbox to turn this on. Below that checkbox is a slider that controls how common the first names will be. Move the slider to the right to get less common first names. Move the slider to the left to have more common names assigned. Let's move this slider all the way to the left to get the most common first names based on the 2010 census results. The next option controls whether or not the characters are assigned last names. Check the checkbox to add last names. The slider below the last name checkbox controls how common or uncommon the last names will be. Move the slider all the way to the right to assign less common last names. The next set of options control the random assignment of character functions or characteristics. Check the Assign Character Elements checkbox to allow characteristics to be assigned to the players. The Distribution slider controls how random the character functions will be as they are assigned to players. When the slider is moved all the way to the left, Generate Characters only assigns character archetypes. When the slider is moved all the way to the right to Complex, the assignment pattern is completely random. Let's leave the slider in the middle between Archetype and Complex. The Honor Current Characteristics checkbox controls whether or not characteristics previously assigned to players are kept. Since we have unchecked the Modify Existing Characteristics checkbox, this option will automatically be checked and may only be unchecked when the Modify Existing Characters option is checked. The Assign All Character Elements checkbox forces all 64 characteristics to be assigned to players when checked. For this lesson, leave this option unchecked.
Let's test these settings out. Press the Generate button once. Notice that only three new characters were created, each with relatively common first names and somewhat less common last names. They've also been assigned pictures. Move the last name slider all the way to the left to More Common. Press the Generate button once again. Three new players, with more common last names and different pictures, have replaced the three previously generated players. They may even be different genders than the first go-round. Uncheck the Include Last Name checkbox, then move the First Name slider to the middle, halfway between the more common and less common extremes. The middle ground position gives you the most random possibility for your first names. Press the Generate button again. Yet again, three new players, with first names only and different pictures, have replaced the three previously generated players. Click on the Print button, and then the Preview button to preview the Character Generator report. Scroll to your new players and notice that random characteristics have been assigned to them. Close out of Preview without printing. Click on the Characteristics icon to go to the Assign Characteristics window. You can see the characteristics that have been automatically assigned to your new players in the Motivation level. Click on the Methodology Quad item to see more of the assignments. Do the same for the Evaluation level and the Purpose level. Click on the Overview icon to switch to the Project Overview window. Notice that the number of players in the project now totals 8. Save your changes by using the File, Save command. This ends the Using the Character Generator tutorial.